Now to politics, the midterm elections four weeks from today, and the candidates are back home hitting the airwaves with some feisty new campaign ads. CBS News congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes has the latest. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Harry. And there are a few recent developments that lead Democrats to hope that their losses this election season may not be as bad as they had feared. This is Barbara Box's California. Trillions in reckless, wasteful spending, destroying small business. Republicans are pouring $2 million into the California, California Senate race. Afford. Killing jobs, crushing hopes. After polls showed Democratic Senator Barbara Boxer reclaiming her lead. The pundits have already decided that the Democrats are losers. We're going to lose, lose, lose. There's only one problem with that. The voters haven't voted yet. Always, Democratic uh, Senator Brown Patty Murray has also seen a rebound in her numbers, as have Democratic candidates for governor in Illinois, Ohio, and California. You're starting to see that around the country because a lot of Democrats held their advertising money until the last couple of months of the election when people are paying attention the most. Democrats used their fundraising advantage to dominate the airwaves in September, mostly with negative personal ads. Better when his number appeared on the D.C. Madam's phone list. And at least one Republican, Tea Party back to Delaware Senate candidate Christine O'Donnell, has a new ad that directly challenges her negative press. I'm not a witch. I'm nothing you've heard. I'm you. None of us are perfect. But now that October is here, both sides are unleashing everything they've got. Would you lie about serving in a war? We have learned something very important since the days that I served in Vietnam. Dick Blumenthal did again and again. Even the president is entering the ad wars. New Orleans needs Cedric Richmond in Congress. Mr. Obama taped his first spot of this election season for a Democratic congressional candidate in New Orleans. And why did that candidate get the special treatment? Because he's from one of only about eight districts around the country where Democrats have a realistic shot of winning a seat currently held by the GOP. Harry. Nancy Cordes said in the Capitol this morning. Thank you very much.